So, in this video I am going to discuss some tips about how to attempt UGC net exam so that you can solve maximum number of question within that time limit. Because to crack any exam two things are very important first one is your preparation second one is your performance on your day of exam on your final day that is also equally important. No matter how well you have prepared if you are not able to perform well on that day on your exam day right. Many students have asked me this uh, doubt that how to solve questions on that day, how to attempt this exam net exam so that we can get maximum marks right. So the very first thing is what it is not necessary to solve the question from question number 1 like sequentially 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. It is not necessary you can solve any question because many students always start yeah it is ok you can start from question number 1. But it is not a rule that you have to start from one then second question third like this. You can solve any random question. Yeah it is good to go sequentially but sometime what happens is what suppose you have solved first second question th those were easy but third question is taking much time like 3 or 4 minutes. Fourth question is also taking much time like 5 minutes you have devoted for solving those third fourth and fifth question right. Maybe you have got the answer right. But what matters is what because of this sequential process you have devoted much time in it in starting phase only right. And suppose after 30 minutes you are you have solved only 10 questions or 12 questions or 15 questions then there would be mental mental pressure on you right. So in first go it is not no uh, all it is not any rule that you should go sequentially you can solve any random question you can skip those questions who are taking much time right. So next is this point only. You should solve easy question in first go like you have read that question and you got the answer. Means immediate answer you are getting you just solve those question in first go right. In second go try to solve some tough type of questions or those questions which are taking your time. Yeah you can solve those question you know the concept but those are taking some time. In second go you should solve those question. Third point is what? You do not need to panic if you are not able to solve first few questions like suppose in one go obviously you should solve easy question like easy question means you have read you are reading the that question and you just got the answer at that time only within 1 or 2 second or 3 second or 5 seconds right. But suppose first maybe uh, 10 question or 12 questions are like this you are not able to uh, get answer immediately it is ok you can skip those questions you are not supposed to panic at that time it happens in second go you can solve those questions. This is very important right. Next is read the questions carefully with full concentration. It is not like that in first attempt you are reading the question you are not getting what the question is then obviously you are not able to solve that question again you are reading that question in second time you are getting or third time you are getting the question. No do not waste much time in reading questions right. In first attempt only read question very carefully so that you can get the answer. You do not need to read the question again. This is very silly mistake many students do because see here every second matters you are supposed to invest your time in solving the question not just reading the question fine. Do not take any question on your ego many students do this thing like I have uh, read that concept very carefully I have practiced many questions on this topic so I will solve this question. Maybe sometimes the question is tricky or maybe because of other you know situations your mental pressure you are not able to solve that question. It is ok that happens so please it is not like that I am not able to solve this question but I have practiced many this type of question. So yeah I will solve this question no matter what no matter how much time it is going to take. Please do not do this thing do not take any question on your ego just leave that if it is taking much time like 2, 3 or more than 5 minutes then it is better to leave that question first. Yeah if you have time and last you can solve that question at that time. Why I am saying this at in starting in the first go do not just stick to one question right. Why I am saying this because sometimes it happens the, the question like suppose the question you are reading is number 5 and maybe the answer of that question you will get in question number 25. So it is better to go through all the question first right. Maybe you can get the answer of that question in further later questions right. So next step is 
you can try eliminating technique if you don't know the answer maybe sometimes it happens you have four options and you know that these two options are not the answer definitely right so you can discard those options and from those remaining two uh, you just try to find out the answer so this is kind of eliminating technique right so you can try this one also and next is last but not the least this is also very important there is no negative marking so do not leave any question unanswered at last maybe you are suppose having 5 minutes and you are you don't have much time to solve the question then you just open that question mark either a b c or d please do not leave any question unanswered maybe your guess would be correct right so i think out of these this thing is very important in first go do not stick to just one question solve easy questions those questions you can get immediate answer after reading after reading that question right because it's starting if you stuck somewhere if you stuck in any question and you have devoted your 5 minutes 10 minutes in that question right maybe two questions are like this and you have devoted your 5 5 4 10 10 minutes in those question so definitely because that clock is ticking right definitely you will come under pressure that many question are still left and time is not there so please don't waste much time on a particular type of question right so now i have an update for csir ugc net aspirants there is a program on going on an academy named revise india for csir ugc net it is a 15 days program it has already been started from 1st of november it will go till 15th of november in this program live classes are going on and these live classes are being conducted by the top faculties and toppers of csir ugc net exam but you can attend these live classes but if you are not able to attend the live class then you can also watch the recorded class the recorded recorded session right with the theory classes test series is also there you can also practice questions and these classes are absolutely free but these classes are till 15th of november so what you need to do you just have to download an academy app and you can watch uh, these classes freely so if you like it i'll provide you the link of this thing in this course in the description box of this video you can go and check out there so now that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care